We're standing in front of the Weiner family monument and plot. There's a huge history here with the Weiners here in Hamilton, but there's an oddity in, in this plot, and that's over here. That is William Weiner Cook. He is the grandson of John Weiner. That's why he's buried here. The stone is an interesting stone. It has a bio on it. And William Weiner Cook is our most famous Civil War veteran from Hamilton. On the top it says G-A-R, 61 to 65, 1861, 1865. G-A-R is the Grand Army of the Republic. He fought for the blue guys, the North. And 61 to 65 are the dates of the American Civil War, when it started and when it ended. He went down to the States and he fought in the uh, Civil War. What he did during the Civil War was he met a young boy general named George Armstrong Custer. They became extremely good friends and William was a crack shot and a great horseman and he became the bodyguard and the second in command to Custer. Now this is where it gets interesting. The rest of the stone is the bile, which isn't quite correct. It says he was a colonel. He was not a colonel during the Civil War. He was a colonel after the Civil War because what happened after the Civil War, he reassigned himself to the Custer 7th uh, Cavalry and they went out to Montana and the West to put down the Sioux Uprising. Now, it says he was with the 7th U.S. Cavalry. He was only in the 7th U.S. Cavalry after the Civil War. So that means this and this do not connect by the date. Then it says he was killed in action at the Little Bighorn with Custer. And that's in 1876, which is after the battle, the, the war, a civil war. So the whole idea here that this is a bio of what happened during his life. He was at the Battle of the Little Bighorn to put down the Sioux Uprising with Custer. He died on the Last Stand Hill with Custer. How did he get to Hamilton? When they first discovered the bodies, they buried him on the Last Stand Hill. Then because 1876 was the centennial of the uh, revolution for the Americans, they produced a, uh, a, a cemetery there of the, of the people that uh, were, were killed uh, there. They moved the bodies into the cemetery, kind of like a um, Arlington, but very small. Then his mother, went to Montana, identified the body, and brought him home in a whiskey barrel. That's how he got to the Hamilton Cemetery, and this stone is telling you the history of his life and death, and he's now our most famous Civil War veteran, because he died 11 years after the Civil War ended at the Little Bighorn with George Custer.